boys and girls. Happy Sunday. How was your first week of school? I was thinking about you and praying for you and I hope that you had a good week. This week in our Come Follow Me reading, we read more about the prophet Nephi. Not the first Nephi that we read about at the beginning of the year, but he is named after him. So he, his father, Helaman, named him Nephi and his brother Lehi. So they would think about those men that they were named after and emulate their lives after them or try to be like them. Nephi was a great prophet. I hope you had fun learning about his prophecies this week with your family. As I was reading about prophets, I came across a talk by Elder Anderson. Elder Anderson moved to Florida. And in Florida, there's a little bug called a mole cricket. Now, mole crickets are cute, but they are destructive. And they like to eat people's lawns. So Elder Anderson had just moved there, and one of his neighbors came over to welcome him to the neighborhood. Well, his neighbor noticed that there was a mole cricket on the sidewalk where they were standing, and he said to Elder Anderson, I've lived here for a long time in Florida. You better spray your lawn, or that mole cricket will destroy your lawn. Well, Elder Anderson thought, you know, I don't think I really have time for that. Besides, that mole cricket's probably just on his way to my neighbor's house. The next day, he looked down in the grass carefully, and he didn't see any mole crickets, so he thought, I'm sure I made the right choice. Two days later, he looked once more. He even knelt down carefully and looked to see if there were any mole crickets in his grass, and there weren't, so he thought he was safe. But guess what? By day three, he had brown spots all over his yard. He rushed to the store to buy some spray and he sprayed his lawn, but guess what? It was too late. Those mole crickets had multiplied and destroyed his lawn. Elder Anderson realized that his neighbor saw something he didn't. Then Elder Anderson makes the comparison to our prophet. He can see things that we can't. He might say to us, you've got a mole cricket in your yard. You need to spray and get that taken care of right away. And we might be like Elder Anderson and think, no, we don't really need to do that. That's not a big deal. That's just a small thing. But you and I know that my small things, great things come to pass, whether good or bad. So it's very important that we listen to the prophet because he can see things and he knows things that we don't. So he can prepare us for those things. Do you know what our prophet, President Nelson, has said to us recently? I do. He's told us to stay cheerful even though we're in the middle of a pandemic. He's also encouraged us to find ways to serve each other in this time. This is how we follow the prophet. We stay cheerful. We keep the commandments. He said to buckle up your seatbelts because it's going to be a bumpy ride. But you can still be joyful. You can keep the commandments with exactness and the Lord will bless you regardless what's happening in the world around you. Let's learn the next verse in our Follow the Prophet song. This week we're going to learn about Jonah. I know you remember Jonah. Jonah was a prophet that got in the belly of a whale. Do you remember this? The Lord called Jonah to be his prophet and Jonah felt fearful. So he tried to run away from the Lord. Ashton, can you run away from the Lord? No. He got on a boat and he thought that maybe he would be safe on that boat, but guess what? There was a great big storm and the people were so scared who were on the boat and Jonah said, you better cast me off the boat. The reason there's this great big storm is because I'm not being obedient to the Lord. So they threw Jonah out of the boat, and a big whale swallowed him up, and he spent three days in the belly of the whale. And he repented, and he arrived on the shore, 
And then he went and followed the Lord's command. He did what the Lord asked him to do. Let's sing about Jonah. I go, you go. Jonah was a prophet, tried to run away. But he later learned to listen and obey. But he later learned to listen and obey. Very good. Let's do the two lines together. All together. Ready? Jonah was a prophet, tried to run away. But he later learned to listen and obey.
Jonah. Let's listen. Nope, it's Samuel. Oh no. Now you think it's gonna be Jonah? Or maybe it's an order of books. You're probably right. Let's listen, Jonah.
walks with you. He loves you. And he cares about the things that are happening in your life. He wants to be there to comfort you, to strengthen you. I hope that you can feel that in your heart and know that that's true. Let's try it with the music.
Heavenly Father loves you. I know that Jesus will walk with you. I know that if you follow the prophet, you will be blessed. And I say that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.